In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Vantive e-commerce gateway with Salesforce using Chargin. Vantive rebranded to the name WorldPay in 2018, so you might see either name used as you follow this process. It is important to note that only the Vantive gateway, which is owned by WorldPay, is supported by Chargin. Other WorldPay gateways are not supported by Chargent. My name is Stacy from Chargent, and if you're a Salesforce admin or consultant who wants to learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization, we've made a special checklist for you on 10 ways to make Salesforce payments safe, easy, and profitable. So click that link in the comments below. So why would you want to integrate the Vantive e-commerce gateway with Salesforce using Chargent? That is so that you can process payments through the Vantive gateway from Salesforce. Here are the steps. Install both the Chargent Base and Chargent Orders package into your Sandbox org. You can set this up in production later. Next, we're going to configure Chargent. Our quick start guide gives you some tips, but that's really why you're on this video. You're here to get more information on configuring your Vantive gateway. So now in Salesforce, it's time to set up Vantive. I'm going to start by clicking the app launcher, the little waffle in the left-hand corner, and I'm going to choose the Chargent application. Once on Chargent, simply click the Chargent Chargent Settings tab and the Chargent Setup Wizard. Since you're going to use Vantive, we know that you have a gateway account, so click Yes on the first page, select Vantive as the gateway, and then click Continue. You should already have a username, password, and merchant ID from when you originally signed up with Vantive. For additional setup tips, you can click the link on the bottom to view the gateway documentation. It's a great companion guide to this video that will walk you through exactly what needs to happen. Now we're just going to copy the username and paste it into the correct field in Salesforce. We'll also need to copy and paste the password and the merchant ID. Once all of the credentials are copied and pasted, we can click Next. You can see that Chargent is testing the credentials and the green banner at the top indicates that this has been verified successfully. You can then click Continue. Next, the Chargent Setup Wizard asks, should we use tokenization? Chargent strongly recommends that all of our customers use tokenization. Be sure to consult our PCI guide for information on reducing your organization's PCI scope. Next up, we have currency. What are we going to be using? On the screen, you can see the most popular ones with our Chargent customers. Do keep in mind that we support all government currencies that are supported by your gateway. Next, are you going to be using the payment console? We sure hope so. We think it's a very slick way of taking payments. Clicking yes will let you know that the system is going to send an email on your behalf requesting an activation key. When you get the key, bring that over and put it into the system to make sure that everything works. All right, what payment methods will you be accepting? Credit card and bank accounts? Bank accounts are also known as ACH, eCheck, or direct debit. Then we want to select which cards we will be accepting. Sometimes folks may want to exclude American Express, so I can just toggle that off here. I want to take all of these in my org, so I'm going to click Continue. One of the nice features of the Payment Console is that there's a number of different ways that you can set up the buttons. You may want to use only your charge button, or you may not need to do charges at all. You may want to just update a token or possibly do an authorization only. Simply just toggle whichever ones you need for your specific processes. Will you be using recurring billing, also known as subscription payments or scheduled payments? Clicking yes will walk you through setting up the recurring batch that will allow future payments to be scheduled and processed automatically. We recommend scheduling the batch at 3 a.m., but feel free to schedule it for whenever works best for your organization. Now that you have your gateway set up, you will want to do some test transactions. We want you to do this to ensure Chargent was set up correctly and to understand how Chargent helps you to take payments inside of Salesforce. This is critical to the success as a Chargent user. Remember that this is your payment system. No organization will survive if you can't get paid. And now that you've set up Vantive, it's crucial that you create some test charges and thoroughly test out any potential real life scenarios. So click on this next video, how to test in a Salesforce sandbox, where I'm going to show you how to do this. My name is Stacy, and at Chargent, we're dedicated to helping Salesforce admins and consultants like you learn about payments and be a superstar for your organization. And remember, we're always here to help.